Raspberry stripper cookies may have a risque name, but they are as dainty and elegant as it gets. This slight twist on a thumbprint cookie will be the star of any dessert table, whether it's the holidays or a Wednesday. A delicious lemon glaze contrasts the sweet raspberry jam for a perfectly balanced bite. So grab a cup of hot cocoa. It's time to bake some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you can get more of my recipes. For returning subscribers, welcome back. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. This recipe is in collaboration with the lovely ladies at Country Hill Cottage. Check out the description box for links to their and other participating channels for more delicious treats. Stay tuned to the end of the video on how you can get their free printables. To a mixing bowl, add five tablespoons of softened butter, one third cup of sugar, I used vanilla sugar, then cream together, scraping down the sides of the bowl if necessary. Add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract and one egg white and mix until combined. To the one cup of all-purpose flour, add two tablespoons of cornstarch, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and whisk together. Add half of the flour to the wet ingredients and stir. Then add the second half of the flour and mix until the dough comes together. Divide the dough in half and roll into about 12 inch logs on a lined cookie sheet. With your finger, begin making a ditch or indentation in the middle of the log. Make sure not to go too deep and leave a lip on the end. When they look like you're about to grill up some foot-long hot dogs, you're ready to fill them. Grab a spoon and your third cup of seedless raspberry preserves. Spoon the preserves into the indentation, making sure not to let it come higher than the edges of the cookie so that it stays intact while it bakes. Place it in the oven and bake for 18 to 20 minutes. When it's done, allow it to cool on the sheet for a minimum of five minutes so the preserves have a chance to slightly set. Using a sharp paring knife, cut the cookies on the diagonal, but don't pull them apart. Allow them to cool an additional 15 minutes while making the glaze. To a bowl of a half cup powdered sugar, add one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and two teaspoons of lemon juice. Then stir until the glaze comes together and is this consistency. Grab a sandwich bag and place the glaze in the bag, remove the air, and seal it. And when you're ready, just snip off the corner to drizzle. Oh yeah, that's just how you want it to look. Not too little, not too much. For those who don't care for lemon, just sprinkle some powdered sugar over half the batch so they can still enjoy these beauties. Now you have something for everyone. If you're gifting these, Country Hill Cottage has made these beautiful gift tags for you to use. They give an elegant, festive touch to any goodies you're going to share with others. Here's how I used mine. I got some double-sided tape and placed it on the back of a tag. I stuck it on the outside of a holiday paper loaf pan to make it look even prettier. To that, I added some holiday shredded paper and put some wax paper on top of it and then layered the cookies on top of the wax paper. I can tell you that the recipient was more than happy to receive this beautiful box. Raspberry stripper cookies are a fun, delicious way to put a new twist on a classic cookie. Whether you use the lemon glaze or the powdered sugar or both, each bite will be a delicious way to enjoy a family favorite. For the link to Country Hill Cottage's gift tags and the full printable recipe, head on over to mrskringleskitchen.com. Don't forget to like and share the love with your family and friends.